Greetings YouTube, it's JC, Bad Edit Pro with a video about audio, and today we're going to talk about the Sony CDP CE315 5 disc CD player. And I have uh, posted a video about this machine before, but I went back and looked at it today, and I realized I could have done a much better job at presenting the machine, and I didn't talk about a lot of the different features that the machine had. And this happens to be one of my very favorite pieces of audio equipment. As you can see, been doing a little work here on the old school system, and got all my favorite stuff hooked up, and all the collector's items are put up and in storage. So we have the uh, Onkyo TA W100 tape deck, the TAC AD500, the uh, Sony CDP here, and uh, the MCS receiver hooked up, and looks like it's going to be this way for a little while. Anyhow, let's start talking about this machine. Now, I have had this particular machine for about 10 years, and this is actually the second one of these I had. I had uh, one before this that was a little bit snazzier than this. It had a headphone jack on it, which this one does not. And it also had a digital output on the back of it that I used to use to feed uh, CD recorders and mini disc machines when I was into that. However, uh, that machine died and I had to replace it and I got this one and um, so um, this one actually has, has done really 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 well so let's get into talking about the features of the machine it's very simple once you power it up you open it up and you can load up as many discs as you like using the uh, skip disc function here it uh, moves to the trays each tray has a number on it as you can see so we're going to come back around to disc one because we're going to start out demonstrating it using disc one and uh, you load up your discs and you close up the machine and it goes and reads the first disc now what's really groovy about this machine is and one of the reasons that i actually bought it before i um, saw one of these i absolutely hated the idea of a cd changer but with this one, you can push this button right here, and as you can see, this changed here, and it's gone into single disk mode, or one disk mode. And when it's like that, it doesn't go looking for any of the other disks, and it turns off all of the multi-disk features, which is uh, very groovy indeed. Okay, so once you put your CD in, you can just hit play, and uh, here we go. And as you can see, we're playing a CD. Now, it has all the standard CD functions, um, you can skip within a track by pushing these buttons right here. And to skip tracks, you use a dial, which is a um, professional thing. Um, a lot of professional CD players have dials on them. And I think Sony was the only one to put them on consumer models. And I think maybe uh, uh, TAC did as well, but I'm not really sure. It's a very nice way of uh, uh, finding tracks because if you have a CD that has a lot of tracks on it, it's better than sitting there going to get to it, you know what I mean? All right, so that's um, kind of the basic playback functions of the machine. And when it's in all disks mode, it'll just play the first disk and go to two to three to four to five and keep going. Now, let's say that you throw a CD in the machine and you don't know what's on it. Here's an interesting feature that you can use. It scans the disks. Check this out. Plays the first few seconds of the song and then it's going to uh, fade out and move on to the next song. And let's say that you actually want to hear this. Well, that's no problem. Just hit play, and that turns that function off. There's also a feature called Disc Check, which you access with a button over here that does the same thing for all the discs in the machine. And I won't show you that because it's basically the same function. All it does is it plays a little bit of the first disc and moves on to the next one. Um, the machine does several interesting things. It's got some great features on it. And let me show you this uh, cool feature first. This thing is really designed for uh, people who are going to be using this to dub to tape or other sources. Uh, they had that in mind when they built it. First of all, a very useful function either for recording to tape or recording to a digital source of any kind if, is, if you don't have any kind of processing between the output and the input. It, you, it's got a peak finder on it. I just hit peak search on that uh, three inch CD which was in slot two. I did that because it was a short disc. It takes it uh, a, a, a little bit to find uh, the peak 
and uh, it goes through the disk, finds the loudest thing on the disk, and repeats it. So you can set your uh, input levels up on your tape recorder or whatever device you're driving uh, for that particular disk. And then all you do is hit pause, it goes back to track one, and it's ready to record. Now once you have your level set up on the machine, you can also do some interesting stuff as far as programming the machine is concerned. So let's take a look at the time on our first disc that we have in here. And as you can see, well, what is it? 48 minutes and 47 seconds. I'm trying to see this through the viewfinder. It's a little bit difficult. Well, let's say that we were going to put this on a 60-minute tape. All right? And we needed to divide this up as equally as possible. All you do is hit the Edit Time Program button over here. And we use this to select our tape length, and we're going to say it's a 60, and we hit this button to enter. Now watch what it does. And yes, that's fine. We're going to go ahead and do the, the 30 minutes. Okay, here we go. goes through the disc, and it finds 29 minutes and 39 seconds of music to put on the first side. Now we can also go ahead and tell it to do side two with what's left over on the disc. So I just hit the enter button again. And bam, it is now programmed side two, which will be 19 minutes and 8 seconds. And to start recording, you just hit the pause button. Well, it actually uh, programmed a pause in the machine. Let's hit play. And it goes to the side one program here. And that's what I want to show you. I'm going to go ahead and skip through all the tracks, and I'm going to skip to... Uh, track 7, which is the last track it programmed on side 1. And we'll go ahead and let it play. And I'm going to skip to the end of the track almost. Long track. Okay, and when it gets done with that track, the machine will put itself in pause and get itself ready for side two. That's what I wanted to show. Another function that the machine does, which is really quite useful, is that you can fade audio, and it pauses after the fade. See? And then I hit fade again, and it comes back. That's useful. You can also do a uh, time edit, where let's go ahead and push this button again. And this time, we're going to use the selector to choose an amount of time. So let's say that we want 24 minutes and 10 seconds of music, and then we want it to pause. It will allow you, at that point, to play the disc up until it gets to um, 29 minutes and whatever seconds I put in there, and then it'll stop playing. It'll just fade out, go into pause mode, and wait for you. The only thing I don't like about this is that once you have a program in the machine, the only way to get rid of it, turn it off and turn it on. It remembers it forever. There may be a way to do it, but I don't know how to do it. You need to go back and look in the uh, manual. And uh, you can also just do manual programming where you can program cuts off of a disc, just like programming a regular CD player. You can program pauses in as well. And uh, you can program cuts across discs. In other words, I can say, well, I want cut two off disc one, and then I want cut three off disc two, and cut five off disc four and so on and build your own program and then uh, turn it loose. Very versatile and a very cool machine. It is uh, eight times oversampling. will play any Redbook standard CD you put into it. And uh, even though uh, this was uh, designed in the late 90s, uh, it plays CDRs and CDRWs perfectly. Of course, it does not play MP3 discs. I don't like those anyway, so it... Uh, doesn't bother me a bit, but any Redbook standard CD, this thing plays back and does a very fine job of it, and I hope you enjoyed the video. JC, Bad Edit Pro, waving bye-bye. Thanks for watching my presentation about the Sony CDP CE315 5-disc CD changer, and of course, uh, your comments, suggestions, and ratings are always welcome. Thanks for watching.